you are watching the special Ultra Modded Kingdom Come Deliverance Christmas End of the Year Let's Play series. These series have been dedicated to my Mod for Life project, which supports worldwide cancer research and prevention. For more information about this, or if you want to donate already, check out the links in the video description. Thank you very much. Hello, hello and welcome to this first part of Let's Play Kingdom Come Deliverance, the 2018, I, I think this is the best game of 2018. Of course, this special for Christmas and end of the year 2018 for my Mod for Life project to support worldwide cancer research. If you're not really sure what this is all about, please check the introduction video, you can find it in the video description. And uh, yeah, with that said, we're really going to start a new game. Um, I'm now still at a showcase location, so let me turn my mouse speed a little bit slower so it's more pleasant for you guys to watch. And let's see, the settings I do have uh, are very high, everything, um, yeah, as you can see, 1440p, and let's see, is there anything special here, she, everything high, we're going to increase the, uh, the, the distant uh, stuff, confirm that, save changes, it might take a little while, and then we're going to start a brand new game and see how how everything runs because i did play the game for a couple of quests so everything's probably new for me again but uh yeah uh i'm gonna make these let's play parts around 20 minutes so for that i'm going to set my timer they're pleasant for you to watch and are pleasant for me to record as well so that's good and let's jump into a new game um and see let's see what's going to happen let's see play line two normal modes yes okay Enjoy this um, this let's play part, this first let's play part, part one for the Mod for Life Foundation. If you want to donate something, check out the links in the video description. And from now on, we'll probably have a nice intro, so I'm going to shut up. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorching. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. 
All right, I'm going to probably be waked up to do some errands, which is always something I dreamed of. Slippyhead Henry. That's uh, that's Daddy. the main character. That's uh, who we who we are going now. to play. There's work to be done. Get up, or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You'd better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself, is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. <sighs> Looks like we have a little bit of a hangover, which is fine. It's a nice sunny uh, day, it seems to be. So, as I said, we're playing as Henry, he's the main character, he's really nothing so far in this world, he's just, uh, you're in this morning. just some what guy. Did let, you get up to let's get the, let's get this dialogue over first. Uh, let's see. So, what is, um, uh, how these conversation options work, it's pretty much the same as you know it from, um, from any Elder Scrolls game or something like that. But Henry is like the son of a smith, and that's pretty much how you're going to start this game. As really nobody, you can't even hold a sword, like li literally you can't, you have to really uh, train for it. But we're going to find it out later on. First of all, let's go quickly through this introduction with my mother. Let's see. Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world, and, um, well, I, uh... I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. So, what you can do is try to um, use these dialogue options to increase some of these skills, strength, fatality, agility, speech. Um, yeah. To be really honest, I haven't played the game uh, long enough to really, yeah, see how much it's going to make a difference. But I'm going to, uh, let's see what I'm going to do. What does it matter? So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. All right, <laughs> so let's see. I'm hungry. Just going to skip the conversation to that. Mom, I'm hungry. Let's see. Um, what are you going to ask? <laughs> let's just say I'm hungry. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. All right, let's see. Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. I think the game is running fine, by the way. Um, I do, uh, as some of you might have seen my specs, I have a Ryzen 7 2700X, 16 gigs of 3200 RAM, and a uh, GTX 1080 Ti. So even with that, on 4040p, um, Sometimes the game struggles to keep 60 FPS, but I hope to do it. Um, I hope to do it. Cr uh, yeah, I hope the G GTX 1080 Ti is doing fine. But especially in the busy villages and cities, FPS can drop a little bit. But I think it looks okay right now. So let's see. Um, Matthew and Fritz aren't drunkards. I never said they were, did I? And if I really minded you going for a beer with them, I'd have put a stop to it long ago. I was young once too, you know. And your father was no angel when he was in Kuttenberg. <laughs> okay. Of course he wasn't. <laughs> you don't believe me? Ask him yourself. All right, I will. All right, can we now leave conversation, anymore, please? Henry. You're I mean... a man, and it's time to start acting like one. 
Yesterday you promised your father you'd help at the forge. If you made yourself useful now and then, I wouldn't mind your mischief making so much. All right, let's ask if she needs help. Do you need me to do anything, ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. All right. Is father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Radzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. Right. He always has his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Yeah, are we gonna have a surprise? But uh, let's not spoil too much. Let's um, yeah, let's let, let's try to do a couple of things here. So, Kingdom Come Deliverance. Um, as I said, we're playing as Henry, and now we are needs. Uh, we need to help our father, I think. So let's check out our um, our quest lock, which we have here. Unexpected visit. So I I have to go to my father and to a sword fighting lesson, but. First of all, let's eat because my character's hungry, I think. Eat from pot. And also, that's something which is important in this game. You need to make sure that you eat well, that you are well fed, and yeah, all those kind of things really uh, are important in this game. So it's like really a realistic um, game. Also, what I didn't tell you guys is, uh, uh, I don't think I did, I'm running the Apex EMB uh, and on very high settings, so it can be quite demanding sometimes, but from now on, everything looks good. And I also can, let's see, um, disable HUD maybe sometimes if we're, yeah, if we are just exploring. So in that case, uh, it looks a little bit better, maybe. Okay, I'm, let's see. So here's my fodder. And let's just explore this uh, village a little bit where we're in right now. And see what we can find here. And yeah, uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance is really my game of the year 2018. I know it has been plagued with a lot of bugs at the start of um, of the launch of the game. But I think Warhorse Studios did patch it really uh, um, really good in, the, in, the, in this year. But maybe they should have taken a little bit of more time to... Um, to, to do some uh, cleaning and to do some polishing of the game but eventually I think the game is very well playable so you can check it out maybe in a steam sale or just pick up the game of the year edition with all DLC and also War Studios Day uh, released a lot of free DLC which is really nice of course and um, let's see let's turn my hat on again because I need to talk with a couple of characters I think um, so yeah it's really my favorite game and even if the gameplay wasn't that good even if the quests were that boring I think Kingdom Come Deliverance is the best looking game I've ever seen. I mean, um, the outdoor areas, the 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 the, the uh, world which I captured, it looks so realistic. I mean, it's something I've never seen before in over 30 years almost of gaming. So I think these are my friends. Let's see what they have to say Hail to me. To the hero. Oh, it's a combat master. Have you master. recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. But the world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So... Are you ready to get stuck in? Oh yeah, we are. Let's go. Yes. All right. I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. All right. So the only thing which I don't really like that much about um, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Kingdom Come Deliverance, is this interface. It's a little bit, uh, yeah. It feels a little bit old sometimes, and um, I think the quest marks and all could have been done a little bit better, but. It's all right. Let's see main quests, side quests. So I only have this sword fighting. Okay, so um, that guy waits for us. So maybe we can go to our father and then um, try to help him with the sword. 
So, okay. <laughs> I was just enjoying the wonderful view of Kingdom Come Deliverance. All right, so let's help our father. Let's see what he has to say. Hopefully he's not that angry at us. And also, a lot of people who watch my showcases always, uh, I always get a lot of comments saying, okay, it's a nice world, but uh, where's the gameplay? And with that, I really hope that I can now show you uh, that this is actually a really good game as well. Not only an open world showcase uh, game or something, it's a real, real RPG. So let's talk to my father, let's see what he has to say. What's the matter with you, Henry? Didn't you hear me calling you? Okay, persuasion, we can do that. Sorry, Father. I was taking a stroll and lost track of time. Somehow I had a feeling I was seeing everything for the first time. How, my boy? When are you going to get some sense? Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> that'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his ass. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sassau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And ale. <laughs> Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. So a lot of small errands, which we need to do. And uh, let's see, let's see our quest log then. Um, so in our inventory, we only have these um, not so interesting items. The quest lock itself, so this is still our main quest. We don't have any side quests yet because this is all the stuff we get from a father. We need to, yeah, of course, go to the sword fighting lesson still, which is not a, a thing definitely that we got from a father. Buy back of uh, charcoal at the market, collect the debts. That's what we're going to need to do first because, um, yeah, we need the money to buy that stuff. So let's find a dude, which is... Um, which still owns uh, my father some money. And if he's not gonna pay, uh, we're gonna beat him up, I think. And also the combat here is a lot more different than you probably know from uh, Bethesda games. You know, it's really just bashing. And here it is actually tactic, uh, tactic melee combat. And also archery is really difficult. And you have to remember that Henry, the main character, is really a nothing. He can't do anything. He really never ha had held a sword until maybe yesterday when he got himself wounded. But um, yeah, so you really have to learn everything because the only thing he can is is just being <laughs> being a nobody, uh, basically, who can't fight or shoot bow and arrow or yeah, pretty much everything. And by the way, here is a great example again of how great the view looks here, the distant ah. landscape. And of course, we can go anywhere we want. Um, yeah, keep that in mind. And the world is really, really large. It's really big. So maybe we should use our compass a little bit. So we are here after the map. And as you can see, the map looks really cool with the, the graphics. And let's see what we need to go. So what do we have here? The sword fighting lesson, that's here. All right. So we are pretty nearby then. Let's do that first. It's here, I think, right? Somewhere. Uh, that doesn't really look uh, that good. So let's see, where is it again? It's here, okay. It's in uh, between these fences. Combat Arena. So let's see what, he, um, what we can learn from him. So, can we get started? Yes. We can. 
We can, definitely. Good. And since today is the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Alright, let's fight him. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. So, let's see how this works again. You can move around, you can unlock from your opponent, only left shift, okay. So, we're going to need move. As you can see with the star uh, all right, all points, right. now try to hit me. we can there to try to, um, to just attack him around, from that position. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. So let's try to do that. Let's try to hit him. Now you're getting it. Good. Once again. Good. Good. Once again. All right. Okay. The point of the blade is for stabbing. Try it a few times. So let's see. St stab is a. Okay. Now you're getting it. Very good. Good, good. Let's try something else. One strike, I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. All right. Let's see, you can train strikes together in a combo. Start a new strike as soon as the previous one ends. You can change the attack zone. Try to press left mouse right at this very moment the previous strike lands. Ah, good. Ah. Very good. Now you're getting it. All right. So let's see. Uh, now what? That's enough. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirsty. Remember though. All right. So <laughs> that was um, that was a short combat training, but. Um, okay, uh, let's call it an end for this part, part one. I hope you guys like this Kingdom Come Deliverance Ultra Modded Let's Play part. The special edition for the Christmas and the end of the year. And uh, again, if you want to donate something for Mod for Life, check out the video description to find the links where you can either use a PayPal donation or a Patreon donation. And thank you very much for watching this part. Even if you don't donate, I really hope you like this Let's Play part. And um, yeah, I hope to see you guys at the next part of this video series. So thank you very much for watching and see you guys at part number two.